2000 dolarov. 2500. Haršo, kar z vanjim. Zdaj, ne? Ok, bye. What? I did not know you spoke Russian. My father was stationed in Berlin in the 80s, and I studied Russian. It's a long story. This is what I love about the show. There are all these surprising moments. That's actress Karen Pittman as news producer Mia Jordan on The Morning Show. And Karen's getting a lot of attention for her role this season in particular after her character was in a secret relationship with a photojournalist in Ukraine. The plot thickens. And Karen Ooh. joins us now live to talk about The Morning Show. It's so Hi. great to have you. We're all huge fans, Thank of course. Thank you. so great to be here. What is it like to be here on, like, a real morning show <laughs> set? Does it feel I surreal? Was, I was like, I'm doing all my research. It's actually really... <laughs> It's really great to see how you guys have this set up, but it's also getting me excited for season four. I can't wait to get back in there. Well, that's you're known as a collaborator. You're somebody who wants to really acknowledge the modern woman and her place. There's a lot of discussion about race and value in the workplace. Where is Mia going this season? And what conversations did you have with producers of the show about what you wanted portrayed on the morning show? Well, you know, I don't yet know what's going on. I've heard Charlotte talking about over the last few days that, um, there's going to be a lot of conversation around AI and mm -hmm. deep fakes, which I had to look up because I didn't know what that was. But um, yeah, I think UBA and The Morning Show kind of broke apart in season three. And so I think they're going to try to put it back together in season four. And let's see who's still standing. Oh. I hope it will be Mia Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> but it might not be. It's she like, might be on the floor. It's like The Hunger <laughs> Games meets uh, local news. Now. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. Morning news. Okay. Yes. And there are so many arcs in this story and so much character development of course we all love it uh, he, everyone who's in news but some people we work with say you know it's too triggering for us because uh -huh, it uh. hits so close to, to home <laughs> good to hear what do you make of <laughs> what do you make of just the industry in general I'm sure you've learned a lot about it I've learned how much how important journalism is truth in journalism facts in journalism I've grown so to have a great respect for journalists and for the jobs that you guys do every single day. Getting Tell us up more. Bright. Tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> First thing in the morning. And I think mostly, especially in a, in a, a political year like we're about to have, I, I appreciate a free press now more than ever. It's really important to have this information coming to us and finding common ground, which we need to do a lot more of in this, uh, in this society. Well, this is a show that has a lot of very powerful women so how do you find your voice within there? And I know you were saying you grew up close to Reese Witherspoon. That's right. You've got all these powerful people. Yeah. How does it all work behind the scenes? You know, I consider myself a real uh, a student oftentimes when I'm on set watching Mimi Leader or Charlotte is there or Jennifer uh, or Reese um, and a steward of the work that I do for the character but also for the show. So um, I just, you know, I... I watch, I observe, I listen, I pay attention, and it's a really great education for me as an actor who also aspires to do more. Well, I love that you say that because th you're described in so many articles as a lifelong learner. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah, definitely, that's me, and uh, that's also part of how I was raised. Both my parents were scientists and teachers and grew up in Nashville with a mindset that, uh, you know, you're there to serve, you're there to be part of a story, you're there for the, the relationships and the people that you are working with, and that's really important to me, not just as an actor, but as a human being, yeah. so yeah. And what is it like to work with such an all-star cast? I mean, you have an incredible cast. Yes, well, they're very down to earth, so you would know that they're like superstars, you know, for the most part. Um, and uh, I mean, I, I, I do, um, it's hard because now I just think of them as like- They're just your friends. They're just friends, yeah, we're just, just colleagues. Just hanging out, doing a show. <laughs> <laughs> but we all, but we do take it very seriously. Like we're all very nerdy about it. Like, what is our character doing this season? And we're, you know, we're all sort of it, have that mindset. But um, it's definitely a family. It's definitely uh, working on developing the best story that we can tell. Well, you've you've been in the industry a long time. I have to say, I love what you're wearing today. You. And if you want to check out hot fashions, just go to your Instagram <laughs> handle because you are constantly posing. I have a great team. Are you a team. fashionista too? Uh, I, no, but I have a great team that makes me look like I'm a fashionista. <laughs> some of whom are here today. Um, they have job security. Good job security. Um, no, I'm not, but I do love a, a, a 
a, a fancy outfit, and I do love a, I love to walk a red carpet, but you know, I'm, I'm an actor with a capital A. I love to act. Well, we love to see you act, and we love to see you on the red carpet, oh. and we appreciate you coming in. Thanks oh, so thank much for being you. here, Thanks and can't me. wait to see the next season. Yeah, this is gonna be gonna fun. Be good. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be after the election. That's, it's, it's that's what four. I heard. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, Apple is streaming season three. If you haven't gotten caught up, please do. And